Hey everybody, it's Everyday Nerdy here, and today we'll be working on doing a samurai helmet. So, for the samurai helmet, first I'm going to create a quad ball. I'm going to, you know, make it big. I'm going to cut half of it off. And after I cut half of it off, you can do symmetry. That is needed. You can do that if you want. And then you have to pull down the back half, but make sure you select all the edges, because if you don't, then you pull them. And you got to pull to make sure you're extruding the face. I'll just have the shortcut somewhere here. Because if you don't do that, um, the back lines, you'll have to weld them individually. So once you pull, you have to increase the size, the width and length of, I think, is it width and length? Yeah, width and length, I think, of the, of each of all the faces. So they evenly look out, they look evenly pulled out. So at the end, I crease the helmet. This is optional. I did it personally because it reminded me of the Samurai Helmets from the Ninja Turtle movie of the third one. I think it came out like what, in the 90s. I love that Ninja Turtle movie. Like that was that's my jam. I know everyone usually hates it. And then when I say I like it, they go, that's disgusting. And I'm like, well, I love it. So either way, after you do the creases, the next step is to make a clone of that mesh. And once you make a clone of the mesh, you will then thicken the mesh. Now, once that mesh now has a clone and is thickened, you got to do clone then thicken. Because you can't un, like, there's no history in the purple mode, only undo. And so once you do that, you're going to split the top part with the bottom part. You draw a line, you do split body. Once you do split body, the next step is to, I edited this part really bad, but you split, you use the thin use a thin helmet to split the thickened helmet. I select the surface, which was a mistake, which is why editing is bad, but it's better if you select it on the, this part where you see the bodies, instead of selecting the actual mesh in the middle, because then you'll select the face and it won't split well. At least I had that mistake. So now after you do that, the next step now is to do the back part of the helmet, which is why I did this whole weird split body. So the split body split along the curvature. So now this back part, you, you, can, you can use a line and you can use a rectangle pattern to create this line. So you can create multiple lines for you. So you just do one and it creates multiple for you. And then once you have all those lines created, you use those lines to split the back of the helmet, but you're only splitting a part of the back because now the, thick, the helmet is two parts. So you're only doing the outside part of the helmet. So, now when you do split body, you have all these outside pieces in the back that you can just pull the face of them. And something I forgot is um, I use a line at the bottom to flatten the helmet completely for printing purposes. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Um, and also this is like, I'm, I'm going based off imagination for this. I didn't really use the photo. I used some photo, but it wasn't like, this is what the photo is, this is what it has to be. It was more kind of imagination up here. So back to where I was. So you take those split bodies you made on the back and you pull each of them a little bit. I think the last bottom one's only one millimeter and after that I do like maybe 0.7 and 0.4 or something like that. And then once that's done, you can now start doing the horn. When you do the horn, you just create a line and then you do, you can do a construct, you do a construct along path or along line and you do it in the center. You, you bring the construct here, you draw a circle, and then you use the line as the rails or the center point, and then you use the point on the, the point on the top of the line to, to be your points. So you got circle and the point, beginning point, end point, and then line. And so I didn't like how my horn looked in the beginning, so I redid the line and everything so I could have a longer horn. When it was short and stubby, it was just like, eh, and a lot of critiques. Well, not a lot of critiques. It just, it looks better and long. Though, in retrospect, I would have done it longer and more curvier. Like, it would have been more cool looking to me. That's just me personally. But either way, once you have that done, you can do the split body of the helmet. So the helmet will then cut the horn, so you can remove the bottom part of the horn. And then after that, the next thing that can be done is you can just do a mirroring of the horn, or you can redo it up to you. I prefer things to be more identical, but if you don't want it to be identical, that's pretty cool too. <laughs> but it's up to you. 
And I think the last thing, yeah, that's the last thing is gonna be, I like how helmets have like a center part that's pulled. So I just draw a line and I split face. I don't split body. You can split body and see what happens, but I just split face. And then I pulled this little part here. You can call it the unibrows, eyebrows. So I did that. And after I did that, I didn't like how the edge up was here on the on the edge. And at first I just drew like a, a 90 degree angle there and it didn't look good. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna do 90 degrees. I can just do another line that kind of follows that diagonal and I'll just split the body of it. So now this part that's coming part of the helmet is flat. And then this part is a smooth diagonal that's flat. And that is basically the samurai helmet in a nutshell. Yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed this and stay tuned for other things. I actually just read a comment that someone said they kind of wanted a Captain America helmet. So I'll see if I can dabble on that. Like I said, if you guys have ideas, let me know in the comments and I'll totally be reading them and seeing what else to make. You know, I still got other things I want to make too, like Alphonse's helmet, uh, the rest of the RX-78 Gundam, printing things, I know, things will be printed. The printers will be up and running. It just had some things going the way, but things will come to life shortly soon. So, if you guys like this, bye!